hear the word cancer, we all know, know someone who's battled that disease, and we often think there's really not much we can do to prevent getting most types of cancer, but that's not always the case. Today we're joined by Dr. Judith Heminga, the director of the Spectrum Health Medical Genetics Team, and Jennifer Ford, a registered dietitian in oncology nutrition. Thanks, ladies, for joining us today. You're Dr. Heminga, why don't we start out with, with you? So we talk about cancer, and we think, boy, that's just got to be like lightning striking a place. It seems very random. That's really not the case, though. No. In fact, we can sort out cancers. Um, some cancers are related perhaps to exposures. Some are probably related to our susceptibility to whatever we're exposed to. And we know that 5 or 10 percent of cancers are potentially inherited either as a mutation on a single gene or a combination of lots of genes not boosting our ability to fight off a cancer change in a cell. So there are a lot of different variables when we look at our possibility of end up, ending up with cancer. You have a special clinic, the Medical Genetics Clinic. What is that all about? In medical genetics, um, and actually there's two different genetics clinics, medical genetics and a cancer genetics clinic. In medical genetics, we see children and adults with genetic diseases. In cancer genetics clinic, we see children and adults with either personal history of cancer or family history of cancer and specifically looking to see if we can identify some inherited predisposition that might have led to that cancer. And so then we look at those variables. And then we also look at things like our lifestyle, specifically nutrition. And Jennifer, that's your area of expertise. Tell us about that. Yes, consuming a diet that is all about healthy eating and plant-based, whole foods, non-processed foods avoiding processed meats and decreasing the consumption of red meat. Um, at least looking at two and a half cups of fruits and vegetables per day. And when it comes to choosing lean meats or plant-based protein sources, I have some examples here on the table of sunflower seeds, almonds, all types of lentils, um, legumes and pulses, um, and beans and um, trying to incorporate fruits and vegetables. I have a liquid protein source called kefir, which is loaded with probiotics and protein that you can um, develop a wonderful smoothie with. And so when you talk about incorporating all these types of items into your general nutrition plan, number one, it's, it's gonna keep you healthier on so many different yes. levels. But in terms of the ability to fight, fight those diseases like cancer, mm -hmm. these have gotta really help your body fight things off. Yes, the uh, phytochemicals and antioxidants, um, the lignans and fiber, um, and the lean protein sources. And I see here that a number of these items are organic, and we were talking about mm -hmm. the idea that whenever possible, if that's an yes. option for you and your family, that is a good way to go. Yes, correct. And so, Dr. Heminga, when people come to see you, what are the overall um, steps that they would go through? Do they come in for an evaluation, an analysis? How does that process work in the clinic? It starts with uh, even filling out forms or having someone from our office call them to go over a family history. We like to look at patterns of cancers that have occurred in the family, personal history of cancer to see if that's likely to suggest that there's an inherited gene mutation in the family predisposing to certain cancers. So for example, um, the BRCA1, the BRCA genes, mm -hmm. breast cancer, ovarian cancer in men, prostate cancer, and a small risk for male breast cancer. But it's not 100%. It's not that you have this gene or gene mutation mm -hmm. and you'll get a cancer it's there's an increased risk. So lifestyle changes can impact that. We can suggest high risk monitoring for people and families that we know are at high risk. We can suggest risk reducing measures, diet, lifestyle, perhaps medications, and there are even the options for risk reducing surgery. We've heard of actresses right, yeah. that have had that. Exactly, and then you talk about maybe making sure that you for sure don't miss those yearly checkups and sometimes that means a greater number of those um, screening tests, colonoscopies, mammograms, those sorts of things, right? Correct. In fact, for some of the colon cancer predisposition conditions, simply going with regular colonoscopies, and they're fairly frequent, 
but removing a polyp that really is destined to become a cancer may be preventative for that cancer. Okay, so you have an event coming up at the Grand Rapids yes. Downtown Market, and it's really designed to be informational, but also give people some great hands-on tactics for making some delicious and nutritious and healthful meals. Tell us about the event. Yes, it's Wednesday, March 23rd from 6.30 to 8 p.m. And guests will get a chance to interact with uh, registered dietitians, a variety of doctors, and also get to um, participate and actually taste a meal that the chefs prepare. Yeah, that is wonderful because sometimes it's all about teaching people the right way to even mm -hmm. prepare food. There are probably some healthier strategies yes, than others as well. cancer prevention. And yes. if people are interested in maybe coming to your clinic, getting an evaluation, maybe they have a, a family history and they're a little nervous and just don't know where to turn, maybe a great phone call to make. And we're certainly available. Uh, Spectrum Health's Spectrum Health has, like I said, two different clinics, but the Cancer Genetics Clinic is at Lemon Holton. Our phone number is 616-486-6218, and people can call directly, or they can have their own physician, their family doctor, their oncologist refer them. Yeah, fantastic. Well, thanks, ladies, and of course, uh, that event next week is free, but they do want you to uh, reserve a space because space will be limited. Thanks so much. Okay, thank, thank you. Stay right there. More of 8 West when we come back. Don't go away. This is 8 West.